With a delay to renovation at Thomas Robinson Stadium in Nassau, organizers were forced to find a new home for the Bahamas Bowl. Initial reaction was, okay, how are we going to get this done? How are we going to pivot? These kids, you know, these student athletes deserve a bowl game, and we wanted to make sure that it happened. It took us about two days to, to make our list of options, and then probably from there about a week to settle on that option, and then from that point forward, so late October to now, really bringing everything to life. The focus quickly turned to Charlotte as the best place for the game between Conference USA and the Mid-American Conference. Number one, this, the, the venue is amazing. Uh, it's, it's got everything we need and it's in a market that we already are in, so it, it just helped bring everything together. It's been seamless to work with UNC Charlotte, ESPN events, they're truly professionals who, they've embraced this, the community of Charlotte's embraced this, so it's really been a seamless transition. A new location meant a new sponsor opportunity. Enter Famous Toastery, a restaurant chain with plans for growth beyond Virginia and the Carolinas. This opportunity uh, really fell into our laps, so uh, it, it was an offer we couldn't refuse and the fact that it's in the Charlotte community and th that's how we pride ourselves of being a brand that is community focused, this really worked well for us. They've been unbelievable to invest in a game that they had, you know, a very short time frame to, to put their activation together and come in and believe in this game. They've been an unbelievable title sponsor. We're very appreciative of them. When we announced we were putting the game here in Charlotte, uh, we got a call from them very quickly expressing interest in the game uh, and in expressing an interest in just being a, being a title sponsor. They're growing, they want to continue growing, and so putting their name on this game became a natural extension of their, uh, of their growth. We want folks to know who we are and what we're about. So like, it's not one for one, um, but if we can start expanding beyond the southeast region uh, with Famous Toast Street, that's our play, that's our angle on this. On the field, Western Kentucky mounted a comeback victory over Old Dominion. Behind the scenes, organizers credited a team effort with pulling off the inaugural famous Toastery Bowl. We've had the easy roll. I, I, I can't credit ESPN events enough for getting this put together in 45 days. That, that is quite an event. It reinforces what we already know about our people and our group, um, that anything is possible if you get the right people in a room together and you truly work towards a common goal.